Yo, what's good everyone? With Season 9 here, a lot of people are eager to see all the cosmetics and rewards that are given from the Renown with and without the Plunder Pass. So in this video, I'll be showcasing everything that you can earn in the Season 9 Renown Rewards from Level 1 through 100. For Level 1 with the Plunder Pass, you get the first of the three Steam Tide costumes. At Level 5, you'll get the Flag of the Gilded Age, and with the Plunder Pass, you'll get some Ancient Coins. Level 10 will earn you some sales of the Gilded Age, and with the Plunder Pass, it'll include the Steam Tide Flag. Level 13 is a Plunder Pass only reward, which is the Steam Tide Capstan. At Level 15, you'll get the Prosperous Privateer Hat. Level 16 is a Plunder Pass exclusive reward, which is just some more Ancient Coins. At Level 17, you'll get the Prosperous Privateer Shirt. At level 20, you'll get the Chef's Peg Leg, and with the Plunder Pass, you'll get the Sting Tide Hull. Next up at level 22 is the Prosperous Privateer Peg Leg. At level 23, it's a Plunder Pass exclusive item, which is the Sting Tide Wheel. Level 25 is the Makeup of the Gilded Age. Level 30 is Prosperous Privateer Jacket, and with the Plunder Pass included, it's the Sting Tide Sails. At level 33, you get the Prosperous Privateer Dress. At level 35, it's more Ancient Coins, but that's Plunder Pass only. At level 36, you'll get the Tattoo of the Gilded Age, which honestly, this is my personal favorite. Coming at level 40, you're gonna get the Prosperous Privateer Trousers, and with the Plunder Pass included, it's the Steam Tide Figurehead. At level 43, you're gonna get the Prosperous Privateer Glamorous Hair and the Immaculate Hair, and with Plunder Pass, you're gonna get some more Ancient Coins. At level 46, with the Plunder Pass, you will get some more Ancient Coins. Now level 50, you're going to get the Chef's Cutlass, which looks awesome in-game. And for Pirate Legends only, you'll get the Legendary Bone Hunter's Spyglass. And with the Plunder Pass, you'll get the second Steam Tide costume. Level 53, which is Plunder Pass only, will be some more Ancient Coins. Level 55 is the Prosperous Privateer Boots. Level 56 is some more Ancient Coins. Level 60 will get you the Banana Beret Hat, and with the Plunder Pass, the Steam Tide Cannons. For level 62 and 65, these are both Plunder Pass exclusive rewards, which are Ancient Coins. At level 66, you'll earn the Prosperous Privateer Gloves. Level 68, which is Plunder Pass only, is some Ancient Coins. Level 70 is going to get you the Sweet Treat Banjo, and with Plunder Pass, you'll get the Steam Tide Cannon Flare. Level 72 and 75 are some more Ancient Coins, which again are Plunder Pass only. Level 76 is the Prosperous Privateer Belt. Level 78, which is Plunder Pass only, is some more Ancient Coins. Level 80 is the Prosperous Privateer Hook. And with the Plunder Pass, you're going to get the Collector's Steam Tide Figurehead. At level 82, with the Plunder Pass, is some more Ancient Coins. For level 84, it's the Prosperous Privateer Beard. Level 85 and 88 are some more Ancient Coins with the Plunder Pass. Level 90 is Prosperous Privateer Eye Patch, and with the Plunder Pass, you'll get the final Steam Tide costume. For level 92 and 95, you'll get some more Ancient Coins with that Plunder Pass. For level 96, you'll earn the Sweet Treat Capstan. At level 98, with the Plunder Pass, you'll get some more Ancient Coins. And finally, at level 100, it's going to get you the Scar of the Gilded Age. And if you're Pirate Legend, you'll get the Legendary Bone Hunter Jacket. And if you have the Plunder Pass, you'll get the Collector's Sting Tide Sails. So which reward is your personal favorite? Let me know in the comment section down below and drop a sub if you enjoyed this video. I honestly don't make content like this normally, but if you want to see more stuff like this, please let me know.